All right, in this video, a follow-up to automatically scrolling something in KOWP. Um, there is a much easier way to do that. Uh, special thanks to a comment suggested to me on the KOWP community. But um, down here, I'm not going to do a scroll. I'm going to do a uh, automatic fade. As you can see down here, my battery power is fading um, and then showing my CPU and my RAM usage. And I want to do something similar with my weather up here. So let me show you how to do that. And we're going to do a loop with a return. Much easier than using that formula on the previously posted video. So in KLWP, um, I want to show here for weather um, what I have weather doing right now. If I tap my weather, um, I just have you know some current conditions and a forecast. But maybe I want to see um, maybe feels like 97. It's really hot here right now. So we have a, a temperature, but what does it really feel like? That's what I want to talk about. And I want to see that flash right here. So um, in KLWP, I'm focusing on the weather. So I'm going to take this weather um, overlap group that I have right here, which is this one. I want to copy that and paste it. So now I really just have duplicates of this, but I want to change this weather. I'm going to rename this to weather animation. And inside of weather animation, let's, I'm going to get rid of um, all the icons. And notice it did get rid of them. Um, I still have my original one though. And I'm going to change this rectangle. I'm um, going to change the color to black. All right, so we have a black rectangle now. And inside of this overlap group that I called weather animation, I'm going to add text. And I'm going to go ahead and apply my global variable that I have for my fonts. And I want it to show what it, uh, just, just, just using basic settings underneath uh, what's um, automatically built in. But I want it to show what it feels like. So let's just say feels like, and then underneath weather, I'm going to pick that. And I don't care for the Fahrenheit. All right. So this is what I want it to fade in and out, kind of like what the CPU was doing a while ago. Let's make this a little bit bigger. All right, that's plenty good. Now, we want to animate this whole overlap group. So weather animation, I want this to fade in and out kind of like what this is doing down here and I actually want them to fade opposite of each other so when this one's fading in I want this one fading out. So I'm in my overlap group I'm going to go to animation. Um, these are some things that I already have copied over from the uh, the one you saw a while ago with like the, the dark gray square where it showed the current temperature. I want to keep those because when I scroll here I still want my animated object to still do the same thing, but I want to add an extra one in here. And I want it to do based on a loop, a loop with a return. I want it to fade in and fade out. A loop will let it just fade in and then it'll kind of like cut out on you, but a loop with return will let it fade in and fade out smoothly. So loop with return, I want it to fade in. And let's let this last, let's say, Four, four seconds and I'm going to do a delay of 10 that way we can still see a nice stop between each one notice there's my other one that you thought was deleted but it's just lying on top of it but really it's just fading in and fading out every four seconds and or yeah every four seconds and we have a delay of one second that way it kind of like pauses so you can see that and then the next fade will happen now right now these are fading in at the same time so if I go change this normal this mode from normal to inverted you'll see these two things fade opposite of each other. When this one's fading in, uh, the other one's fading out and vice versa. So then if you start applying these to a whole bunch of them, you can have a whole bunch of things kind of going in unison or whatever, but that's a lot easier than that formula um, that I told you to type in in an earlier video. But you can apply scroll, you can do this to all sorts of any action. You can tell it to scale in, scale out, scroll, rotate. I mean, uh, there's rotating. 
you know, and it's just, just that easy. It's going to do this every four seconds with a one second delay based on my settings down here. Of course, I don't want to keep that. I'd rather, I want to keep it inverted, but I'd rather just do the fade in. It's a nice clean look in my opinion, but uh, feel free to mess around with these. And that is an update on how to animate, automatically animate anything in KLWP. And that's it for this video. Hope it helped.